Hi everyone, I'm Rochelle Reimers, Demas Communications Manager. Today I'd like to share a few tools with you that can help you create and deliver exceptional messaging. In particular, we are gonna look at minimizing errors and being consistent with our messages and brand voice. Now, let me start by saying that we are all human and perfection is impossible to achieve. Even the most detail-oriented and thorough individual will have typos, errors, mistakes in their work. However, we fortunately live in a time where there are plenty of tools and software available that can help minimize these occurrences. When it comes to publishing any kind of copy or content, it's important to proofread your work. I always recommend reading it to yourself, then reading it out loud, then asking someone else to do the same. Sometimes you're too close to the project and won't even catch the simplest mistakes, so having an extra set of eyes on it can be really helpful. And then I also recommend running all your copy, whether it's a social media post, email, website copy, or anything else through a grammar and spell checker. And I'm not just talking about the default Microsoft Word feature. I'm talking about complex specialized software. I really like Grammarly and I use it on a daily basis, but there are plenty of others. These types of software do an excellent job of correcting typos and grammar mistakes. Even better, they often have suggestions on how you can keep your brand voice consistent and give indications of how your copy is coming across to the reader. Since I like to use Grammarly, let me give you a demonstration of how this might work for you. Okay, so I've gone ahead and logged into my Grammarly account. I do have the uh, premium version, so if any of my functionality or features look a little different from yours and you have the free version, that could be the reason why. But in any case, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new document, and I have actually already typed up some copy that I'm just going to paste in here. I've intentionally written this so that there's a few spelling, punctuation, errors, and also a run-on sentence. Now, when I get my document started, it brings up this, this um, pop-up window to set my goals. Now, here is going to be where I kind of determine my intention with the copy and it's gonna evaluate it based on what I provide it here. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be for a general audience. Um, I'm gonna inform them. I want it to be again, general so that it has, um, it requires minimal effort to read it. And I want it to be fairly informal. Those are the goals I'm gonna set. Now, if I wanted to ever change those and go back, I could just click on the goals box over here on the right-hand side and adjust them as necessary. Now, before we dig into my copy here, I do want to point out two things. Over here on the top right, it's going to give me an overall score, which if I click on that and open up that, that overall score, it's going to show me the breakdown of my performance and why it has given me a score of 96 out of 100. Here it's telling me kind of like the word count, the breakdown, this, the reading speaking times, the readability, which is really helpful. Um, I only have a 74 here, probably because of my significantly long run on sentence, which I'll show you in a minute. But this gives you a nice overview of the areas where you can make some quick um, changes to your copy and make it a lot easier for somebody to read. Okay, now, so let's go ahead and dig into the copy that I've actually written. I've written, hi there, here are some copy I wrote. Isn't it grat? That should be great, obviously. I wonder how many things Grammarly will recommend that I fix. Now, I would like to try one thing and type out the wordiest of wordy sentences and see what, if any, recommendations Grammarly has for the world's longest sentence that seems to go on and on without any end in sight, even though it makes sense in my head as I type it, but is likely a complete mess on paper and to anyone trying to read it. Now, we can see... Grammarly has offered a few suggestions. They're both listed here on the right-hand side for correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery, style guide, and you can see it's highlighted and underlined areas where it needs help. And that's what these little boxes here on the right-hand side are as well. So to begin, it's saying you should have a comma after row right here, right? It's giving me a punctuation error message. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that by clicking on it, and it'll update that for me. It's saying I misspelled grat, which would be correct. I click on that box, it's going to correct it, open it up and correct it for me. There we go. And now this long run on sentence, if I click to expand its suggestion, it's going to tell me it's hard to read. <laughs> and the general audience that I selected, remember that I selected that so it'd be easy for just about anybody to read, is going to have a hard time reading it. So it's provided some suggestions, removing any unnecessary words, splitting into two sentences. And from here, I would make the changes um, based on what I think would be most appropriate for my audience and for the copy itself. So that is super helpful because uh, like my, my sentence said that maybe made a lot of sense in my head, but somebody else is gonna have a really hard time reading that and digesting everything that was contained in that sentence. And we don't want that, right? So for now, I'm just gonna ignore it by hitting, clicking on the trash can. Obviously that's probably not a choice you would really wanna make, but we're gonna move on. So over here, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna kind of give you a breakdown of the correctness there's no more, no more recommendations here. It's saying it's very clear engagement. It's very engaging. Delivery is just right. And that's based too on those goals that I set, right? So it's comparing all these different areas 
with the goals that I set. So now that you've gotten your copy all updated and all the errors fixed, you can now highlight all this, copy it, and now paste it into whatever document or platform. And there's a social media post uh, on your website. You can paste it there and know that your copy is looking much better than obviously it previously was. Now, whether you're using Grammarly or another similar program, taking this extra step to ensure your copy is as error-free as possible can help you communicate better with your customers and also develop your brand voice. By using features like the goal setting that I showed you with Grammarly, you can focus on a consistent writing style that is appropriate for your audience and represents your brand well. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. My email is rochelle at dima.org.